All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Archim who are teaching the word in sincerity and in truth, and blessings to the elect and the one for the Israelites scattered worldwide, who is to be saved. Uh, today's lesson, as I said in the last video, uh, we're going to go into the word Lord because you see it many times in the Bible. All right. And um, the word Lord, all right, I looked at the definition here. This is the Merriam Webster Dictionary. All right, Lord. And it says, one having power and authority. Oops, let me go up. Uh, one having power and authority over others. Okay, so that's all the word Lord means a ruler by hereditary right or preeminence okay so in this modern time obviously we don't use those kind of things i mean in the uk we have a parliament um building and we have something called the house of lords all right and that was done by us in the middle ages roughly around about the uh 12th 13th century all right and back in the day in that middle age time it was an uh, actual normal term, all right? And you would um, use this term for people that are above you, all right? Now, let me give you an example here. This is the king, the film Kingdom of Heaven, which is really us Israelites, all right? We were the Christian crusaders, okay? There was nothing Christian about what we were doing back then, you know? But the real Christians are us. Israelites, we are the anointed ones, all right, and we were fighting uh, the Ishmaelites and other um, uh, uh, races that uh, believed in Islam, including people who are Kurdish, all right, for our homeland, Jerusalem, and this is from the Kingdom of Heaven film. Now, remember what the, the term Lord means, all right, to have authority over someone else, all right. See, you know, he said, my master is here. And in that term, in that time, that was a normal phrase, man. All right. I remember this is all cinematic, but when he said, my master's here, he was talking about Saladin, all right, who was uh, uh, the leader of these uh, uh, Ishmaelites. Uh, they weren't all Ishmaelites, they weren't all Arabs, there were other races as well. And they were the Muslims versus um, us, Israelites, so-called Christians, all right? But notice he said, <laughs> you may go to Karak, you know, my master is here, all right? And his master is Salah Din, okay? So, when we go in, into the scriptures, it tells you the order of things, <clears throat> all right? I, Paul broke it down in 1 Corinthians 11 and 3, you know, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, which is Yahushai, right? All right. And the head of the woman is the man. All right. And that's how things should be, but everything is upside down. All right. And then it says, and the head of Mashiach is God all right so that's the order so it's Yahweh his son men and women that's the order all right and uh, that order is totally upside down at the moment all right and the Bible tells you all right about women all right this is Genesis 3 and 16 unto the woman he said I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy and thy conception all right and in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children meaning in childbirth you're gonna have pain and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee all right so a man is supposed to rule over a woman 
okay that's that's the order that God set up and that's the reason why uh, if you go to Genesis 18 all right and we can start at 11 this is about Abraham and Sarah all right now Abraham and Sarah were well were old and stricken in age and ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of a woman so they were very old old you know old up in age <laughs> and verse 12 there and this is when you know they were told that listen you're going to have a son you know uh which, which is going to be isaac and therefore sarah laughed within herself saying after i am waxed old shall i have pleasure all right she's old so you know um when it says pleasure pleasure with what sleep when you have sex intercourse that's pleasure that's how you bring forth children all right and then she said and then this is the point she said my lord being old also now who is her lord her lord is abraham her husband so sarah called abraham lord all right and remember what lord means all right one having authority and power over others okay i'll give you another example for example uh uh when saul when not when king david was the king but when saul was the king all right if you go to first samuels 24 and 8 and david arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after saul saying my lord the king all right and when saul looked behind him david stood with his face to the earth and bowed himself all right because saul was the king all right so he bowed himself to him but he said my lord okay now if you look up the word uh lord it should say and it's the same in genesis uh, 18 12 all right it will say adon which is like someone that owns you all right strong's h all right. 113 adon Adon. Adon. All right, which is a, a strong Lord Master in reference to men. So when someone, um, so so was the king, you know. So uh, David was under him. All right. So obviously, so was his Lord. That's why he said, "My Lord, the King." Okay. So that's what it means, and it's the same in the same word. Um, if you go to Genesis eighteen, it's the same word. That comes up Adon in the Hebrew, all right, which means uh, um, someone that owns you, because the Bible tells you that in the case of uh, men and women, all right, and the average Monday woman is not going to like that. The average woman is not going to call her husband Lord, you know, uh, because we're in this Western wicked society. But Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, thirty six and twenty four, he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession so that's why sarah called abraham uh lord my lord because uh abraham is a husband and um she is the possession of the husband all right so that's why that word is used lord all right all right a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest that's what a woman should be but in this society that's <laughs> That's not really actually happening at the moment, you know? All right. So when you see the word Lord in the scriptures, all right, when you see Lord, it's talking about, it's, it's talking about someone that has authority over someone else. Okay. And that's why, if you look at here, that's why when you click on it, it says, I, I don't. And, um, let's go give you another example there'll be a different one here and many times all right in in the scriptures when it's um for example here like exodus 4 and 10 and moses said unto the lord and the word lord is in caps that always is the lord's name yahweh all right always okay let's see now now on here it will say Jehovah, 
all right because remember the the lord's name is in paleo hebrew all right not this um uh this modern version modern version that we have here okay strong's h3068 yehovah 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 and really it should say yahweh all right and which means he to be the existing one and you know, when you go down here it will say jehovah and uh, obviously the letter j came out in the 17th century but it and but it actually tells you the real meaning of the name the existing one the proper name the proper name of the one true god all right and in paleo hebrew there's no uh what's it called? there's no uh uh, uh these or ease so it's yahweh okay so anytime you see the word lord in caps all right it's always talking about the heavenly father all right but if it's small like this one here in uh first samuel 24 and 8 all right it's talking about someone being lord over someone else all right just like how um david said lord my king you know because uh saul was the king you see so it's it's all about authority okay uh give me another example here Oh, let's see now. Uh, it's Exodus, I think it's this one there. Let me go back. Uh, let's see now. And this was um, yeah, this is when Moses was in a, a speaker to the heavenly Father. You know, Exodus four and ten. And Moses said unto uh, unto the Lord Yahweh, and he said, Oh, he said, Oh Lord, I am. I am not eloquent, all right. Neither, neither herefore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. So the Lord was telling Moses, look, you know, I'll tell you what to say, and he was he was kind of like, well, I'm not a good speaker, this, that, and the other, you know. But in all caps, as I said, it will always be Yahweh. But he said, my Lord. All right. Because the Heavenly Father is is our Lord. He is our master. Okay. And, and if you click on here. And notice it's different here. Because here it's, uh, it says my Lord. But the L is capital. All right. And that's usually referring to the Heavenly Father. You know. Because he's our master. He's, he's, he's our. Um, he's. Like a Lord is like someone that is sovereign over you. The Heavenly Father is sovereign over everyone. You know? So it will say Adonai. Strong's H136. Right. See? Adonai. 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 See? And it will say my Lord. And then it will say of men, but it's of God. Alright? And then it says Lord title. Spoken in the place. And that's not the Lord's name. <laughs> that's definitely not the Lord's name. Uh, 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 Yahweh or whatever. As I said, his name is Yahweh, man. All right? In the ancient Hebrew. All right? Yahweh. Okay? And and uh, the Lord has authority over uh, his prophets. So we can't just say, you know, we can't just address... Uh, the heavenly father any way we like you know so that's why the word lord is is in the bible uh uh many times you know because the the lord is not the author of confusion and the one thing the lord likes is order man all right and um that's why in this truth it's very important that you look up the meaning of words and you can always use obviously the best tool is this one the bible blue letter but you can all also look up the meaning of words all right with etymology is it called etymology on etymology i think it's online i think you know yeah you can look up yeah this is a good tool etymology online you know to look up the actual meaning of words man okay and there's um and 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 that's how you know that we're connected to uh, the scriptures because in especially in that middle age period when we were ruling uh, Europe, all right, 
in the actual hierarchical structures of uh, the different kings, you know, you have different levels and they would always say, you know, my lord, you know, because, you know, to the person that was over them, whether it be a king, whether it be uh, a duchess, the only thing is they went mad with it because they started to have women on the throne, women being over men, which is totally, um, is totally off, okay, you know, and like, for example, I'll give another example, like Isaiah 43 and 11, which is one of my favorite scriptures. I, even I am the Lord in all caps, Yahweh. And besides me, there is no savior. All right. And there is no savior other than Yahweh Shem Yahshua. There's none whatsoever, you know. So the Lord deals with order. He deals with structure. And there was um, a good article I saw. All right. On the word Ad Adonai, all right, and it says uh, this is uh, Christianity.com. One of the most prominent names used for God in the Old Testament is the name Adonai. Adonai is a Hebrew word which translates as Lord, or of Lord or Ma or Master, from its derivation sovereignty. All right, so people. Um, uh, who are over you have uh, sovereignty, just like your boss at work, you know you can't just call your boss anything you know, you go to your, your job interview, you get your job you have to call them by their you know, title, you know especially if you want to keep order in the actual workplace you can't be calling your boss Bill or this, that and the other you know, so a bit more here, and then I uh, translates People throughout the Old Testament used the word Adonai when addressing humans who were master or lord over them, you see. So, that's what the Lord, the, the, the term Lord means, is just to have sovereignty over someone. And as we said, you know, the Heavenly Father is over everyone, alright. But then it, it's Mashiach, the Messiah. All right, then it's the man, because the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is who? God. Okay, so that's why you'll see it in different uh, variations. You you know you could see uh, the word Lord sometimes written in the scriptures like these in in, in these three forms, but at least now hopefully. You have edification to understand the difference. And I urge you to use this Bible Blue Letter because it's good. Because to understand um, the scriptures, you do have to go into the Hebrew and the Greek, you know, etc. You know, to get more full understanding of it. So I don't want to make it that long. Um, and I apologize. I was going to do this uh, video a couple of nights ago. And I've really been having a hard time with certain things but I thought you know I have to get this done so and I'll leave actually I just got this message from YouTube today so some of the features on the actual channel they've turned it off comments and things like that they say that anyway but anyone can leave me a comment or whatever but I'm not sure if I can leave links in the description box anymore but hopefully that edifies um, you brothers and sisters out there you know, on this word, Lord, man. And at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father, He is sovereign over us all. So, uh, let's get one more scripture. Alright. Uh, back in the day, we used to call this the Roundup scripture. You know. We used to call it the Roundup scripture. I haven't, we haven't, I haven't brought it in a long time. You know. All right, and this is a beautiful thing about this this uh, truth is it you know it's it's quite simple when you uh, you know the Lord opens your mind to receive it and remember Yahweh I had to um, die on the cross for for us to get this knowledge man all right so I mean I can only see out of one eye at the moment but thank God I can see out of one eye so I can still do you know the work you know. It's annoying, but I know the Lord will, you know, take this away from me very soon, you know. 
So Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, all right? Fear God and keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man, you know? And we can't keep them, uh, what's it called, perfectly. Right? Judges 5.11, rehearse the righteous acts. You know, that's what we have to do though. But if we do those things, and most of all, um, to fear the Lord is to obey him, you know? And that's where the faith comes in, all right? So, um, don't want to be too long, all right? To the next one, you brothers and sisters out there, stay strong, stay in the Lord, shalom.